Have you ever wondered how pilots actually control a massive airplane? From a tiny lever in the cockpit to huge surfaces on the wings and tail? Well, behind that simple movement is an entire evolution of technology. Today, we're diving into the three main flight control mechanisms that power modern aviation. Fly-by cable, fly-by wire, fly-by light. Let's start where it all began. First, fly-by cable, the classic control. In the early days of aviation, flight controls were purely mechanical. Cables and pulleys pull tight, and control surfaces like the elevator or ailerons move directly. It's simple, reliable, and gives the pilot a direct feel of the aircraft. But here's the drawback. It's heavy, it requires a lot of maintenance, and it's limited by distance and friction. Still, many small aircraft today, like the Cessna 172, still use fly-by cable. Second, fly-by wire, the digital leap. Welcome to the age of electronics. With fly-by wire, the pilot's inputs are turned into electrical signals. Those signals travel to flight computers. The computers analyze, optimize, and then command actuators to move the surfaces. This system removes heavy mechanical linkages and allows for advanced automation and safety features. Think Airbus A320, Boeing 787, F-16, they're all flying by wire. And yes, it's why your plane stays smooth even during turbulence. Third, fly by light, the future is bright. Now imagine controlling an aircraft with light. Fly-by-Light -light uses fiber optic cables instead of copper wires. Why? Because optical signals are unaffected to electromagnetic interference. They're lighter, faster, and incredibly secure. This tech is still emerging, tested in cutting-edge jets and defense systems, but it may soon be the standard in next generation. Hit subscribe for more aviation shorts if you like it.